welcome to this Big Fix video, part of the series on installing Big Fix on a Windows server. My name is Ben Dixon and I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor with HCL. In this video, we are going to walk through the installation of the Big Fix server. This video covers a basic installation of the Big Fix server. The platform we are installing on is Windows Server 2016 and we are using a database of SQL Server 2016. You may have additional questions or you may just be looking for additional information and we encourage you to visit support.bigfix.com where you can find the documentation that you need. Including system requirements and server sizing, platform and solution guides, installation, configuration, and operator guides, and capacity planning information. Now let's pick up where we left off with the installation generator video with our Big Fix installation guide. After the installation generator wizard completes, the Big Fix installation guide appears. From the installation guide, you can install the Big Fix server, the console, the clients, and the web user interface. The server must be installed first. Click the Install Server under the Welcome box. In this case, we're going to install the server on this computer. We'll select the language for our wizard. Click Next at the Server Installation Wizard. We'll choose the components that we're going to install. In this case, we're going to install the server and the web reports and click Next. We'll choose whether this is a single database or a replicated database. We're going to choose single for our deployment and click Next. We then have the option of using a local or remote database. In our case, we're going to use a local database, so we'll click Next. Now we'll choose the folder where we want to install Big Fix on our server. In our case, we're going to install Big Fix on the F drive. And we'll click Next. This next screen presents server properties specifically the Big Fix server's web root folder. This is the folder used by the Big Fix server to download content that's requested by the managed endpoints. There should be no reason to change the information on this page except in case we need to select proxy settings. If we need to do that, we can enter the proxy settings here and also test the connection. We're not using a proxy in our environment, so we'll cancel out of this and click Next. The next screen shows us the Web Report Server's root folder. Again, there should be no reason to change the settings on this page unless we need to change the port. We're going to accept the default settings on this page and click Next. We're going to specify the service or the user that will run the web report service. We're going to use the local system user in our installation and click Next. We'll review the information that we've selected and click Next. The installation installs the Big Fix server. Again, we're running the installation in real time so that you can see how long installing the server actually takes. We're prompted for the site signing key 
the private key that we created with the installation generator. We'll browse for this file and click open and click OK. And we're prompted for the signing key password. We enter the password and click OK. The Big Fix database has been initialized. And now we're prompted to create our admin, our initial admin login. This will be the master operator login credentials for our Big Fix console. We'll create the username and enter and verify the password. This core services start up on the Big Fix server. And when the wizard completes, we're prompted to run the diagnostic tool. We click finish and the diagnostics opens. Some errors to be, are to be expected while the server initializes and prepares for its first gather. You can review the full interface or click close. The installation of the Big Fix server is now complete. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this information useful. You can find other useful information by using these links, including documentation, videos, and support.